Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today's feature, we're diving into an application called Tweak Calendar. This is a planner slash to-do list application to help you organize um, some tasks that you may have coming up. It does have a sync with Google Calendar and a few other abilities. So it's really just a personal um, tool. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be diving into the application today. I actually first originally found this on Thomas Frank who tweeted this out to Mac Devella. So a big thank you to him for pointing us in this direction. Um, and as you can see here on the landing page, let's get stuck in. So as you can see, this application is uh, primarily a planner. They've got a bit of sort of information about the side down the side here, and they have a, a few of the features that are included. Now they do have a web version, iOS and Android, which is um, good. And they do, it looks like they have a, um, no, they say desktop, but it means a web version. But the only thing to note is that they do have a premium, which most of the features themselves are actually locked under. So the paid version, includes reminders, the Google Calendar sync, recurring tasks, uh, additional color palettes, and actually notes, checklists, subtasks, and a few other additional abilities, including unlimited calendars and the ability to invite more people. Now this is priced a little bit steep. I believe it's $2.83 a month. Um, that wasn't shown the other day in, in a different language. However, with the free account, it looks like you get two active calendars, um, sharing for up to three people, um, all the regular stuff like mobile, move uncompleted to the next day. However, when it comes to the more detailed stuff, like the colors, Google Calendar, I guess some of the more advanced customizations, then that's locked under the premium. Now, to be honest, the premium is a little bit steep, in my opinion, I'm comparing it to an app like Todoist or TickTick. -Tick, you do get more out of, say, TickTick -Tick than you do, say, this application from First Look. Um, so that's something that uh, just a note um, when you're looking at this application. They've got quite a funny little video here that you might want to watch. It sort of overviews the application, but let's overview it here. So very simply, you can add tasks. And as you can see, most of this is locked under premium, but you can add a task here with the title. Um, you can delete it from here. The repeat again is a premium feature and you do get some of the basic colors to highlight your item. Now you can actually move it to the next day if you want to, but if I clicked off that, you can see that it highlights this film YouTube and I can even tick it if I want to. So very, very simple in its concept. You can plan the full week ahead. You can skip to the next weeks. And as you can see, you can plan um, as much time in advance as you want. Now down here, they have a little bit like To Do has a very simple sort of someday area where you can start adding items. So if you wanted to, you could say January 20, uh, sorry, not January, uh, May 2021 goals. And you could start say listing them below here uh, in a bit more detail or with the premium, you could use some of the subtasks and um, other such details like that if you wanted to, that's just something. Or you could have things like that you would want to do in the next month say, but just a note, if I were say to skip ahead, someday comes with you, which is quite handy. So if you wanted to pin, uh, you could even pin um, URLs or bookmarks here uh, to be able to save for later. Now Tweak also has quite a nice ability uh, to save your calendar. So when you create an account, um, you can log in and, and sign up through Apple or Google uh, or just your regular email address. You can actually download um, your version, uh, the calendar. So you can print this um, and uh, you can do it in landscape. Uh, and what's quite nice specifically, uh, I believe it's a, there's a better printing option than just the this sort of look, but it actually looks pretty nice in terms of um, printing it out and putting it in um, on, on the front of your desk for the day. So you could, for example, lay this up with all of your sort of tasks for the week, print it out, and then be able to actually just uh, scribble them off as you go through. Um, or even if you're someone that is like myself that uses something like a Remarkable or a tablet, then you could download this as a PDF and be able to port it to one of them and be able to make visual modifications from there. Now, what's uh, what's nice about this application is it's pretty simple. Um, however, what I'd say is the premium is steep. It is a very basic application. So I'm gonna give it a really low estimate of like a 5.5. The Google Calendar one, uh, the integration from what I've checked out of it, it actually does a quite a nice job of syncing uh, certain activities, uh, for example, when you're connecting a personal calendar, which is quite nice. So you can 
bring in stuff that's existing if you want to, which might save a bit of time with stuff you've already planned. And some of the repeat stuff works well, but for the price of it, I don't think it's worth it. I think if it was say something like $1.49 per month, that would probably be a lot more, you know, reasonable as a price. So here's a little bit more about the printable version. So here they actually allow you to start creating a downloadable uh, PDF so that you can actually use the same concept. And that's quite a, a nifty little thing there uh, that if you did want to use, you can start using. It's nice that they've got a mobile application as well, but in my opinion, this application is still very early days. Um, and still has a lot long way to go and I wouldn't put the pricing as high as I would however on the you know in the grand scheme of things it's a really nice clean looking application that's it has a nice feel a nice look um, and has some small but nice features anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed today's video uh, that was a review of tweak if you're new here please do subscribe and I'll talk to you all very soon cheerio